Hey, you guys, don't forget to press that thumbs up button. Come on in. I ain't going to keep you long. It's about the scammers. I went fishing today. When I say I went fishing, that means I played with a scammer. Okay, I went on. I was doing a little work on Instagram, posting my, my uh, videos over. And, of course, anytime you go over there, it's like they pounce on you. So I reel one in. And I kind of held the conversation. I let him go on and on. I answered all his questions. and But then when he asked me, where do I work? I didn't answer. Um, I said, I don't work. And then he say, how can you pay your bills? Oh, he just kept asking. How can you pay your bills? How can you eat? And then what do you like to do? I say, go shopping. Oh, how can you go shopping if you don't work and all this kind of stuff? So I did not. Then he kind of was really adamant and he say, answer my question. Where you work at? So I said, mm, I got to do something to this one right here. So I told him, I say, um, oh, so you know that I'm an owner of a chemical company and you just playing with me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, then he wanted me to go into the Google chat. No, no, no. Before that, he was trying to get me in the, to get the Google app. I told him I don't do apps. I don't. I say, he said, well, uh, his daughter he don't be on the internet much. His daughter's in boarding school. It made no 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 uh, sense and whatsoever. No sense whatsoever. This man was saying about his daughter was in bo uh, boarding school. So what that has to do with the internet? But anyway, he said that he wanted me to go to Google Chat. He sent me the link and all this. So I said I don't do Google Chat. I said my friends and family they get in touch with me just fine without Google Chat. Uh, so he begged and while and I say, if I have to talk to you on Google Chat, I'm going to go now. So I, I left, but then I came back. And I say, honestly, you know that I own a company. I turned it. He almost flipped out when he thought I was rich because I had said I didn't work, I didn't pay bills, all this kind of stuff. And then I turned right around and I told him I was at Qatar airline, get ready to go to Kenya, Nigeria, and I, 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 and I just made up this fantasizing story to this man. He bought it hook, sinkle, a line and sinkle. Then he told me when I get to uh, uh, Kenya, hit him up on WhatsApp and all of that. Let me tell y'all, those people, scammers, are just really out of control. And I, I still don't understand how anybody could fall for, my wife is dead, I got a, a daughter in boarding school. They'll give you a city in, in the United States, but they always get ready to leave on some. Oh, they're going to be an engineer of something. And then they're going to be getting ready to go on some kind of contract. It's the same thing, like clockwork. So I just want you guys to know, please, can't you see red flags? Yeah. Who, who will fall for that? All right, you guys. Talk to you later.